eh, trabajo con el equipo de formación de ACAIRE. Les damos a todos la bienvenida a la conferencia, la tercera conferencia eh, que hemos desarrollado en el transcurso de esta jornada en la mañana. Eh, y vamos a arrancar con la conferencia eh, Bienvenido al futuro Rooftop. Presentamos el nuevo modelo LTM y el sistema Lenox Core. Antes de comenzar, queremos invitar a los participantes a pasar por los stand y conocer todos los pabellones que tenemos en la feria. Los invitamos también a consultar la agenda académica para que puedan participar de las diferentes conferencias que tenemos preparadas para ustedes. Queremos agradecer a nuestros patrocinadores por hacer posible eh, llevar a cabo este evento. Esta conferencia se encuentra, en esta conferencia se encuentra con nosotros el ingeniero Eddie Chávez, quien será el encargado de dictar esta conferencia. El ingeniero Eddy se ha desempeñado en varias posiciones claves en Lenox, incluyendo ventas para cuentas nacionales, operaciones y gerencia de productos. Como director de gestión de productos, el ingeniero está a cargo de las líneas de producto unitario de Lenox y ha liderado el desarrollo del innovador paquete Rooftop. Antes de incorporarse al equipo Lenox, hace nueve años, el ingeniero Eddy trabajó en posiciones de gestión de productos en el sector de construcción y semiconductores. Le recordamos, por favor, hacer preguntas eh, mediante el chat y al final de la conferencia serán respondidas. Damos inicio y paso al ingeniero eh, Eddy. Adelante, por favor. To the rooftop revolution. My name is Eddie Chavez, Director of Product Management for Lenox Commercial. Thank you for joining us as we introduce the culmination of years and work and dedication from every single cross-functional group here at Lenox. And I've got to tell you, the Model L is the most exciting project I have worked on. Today, we are introducing our most powerful, most efficient, and most advanced rooftop unit in the industry. An ultra-efficient design delivers complete comfort at the lowest total cost of ownership while reducing maintenance and service costs. The new Model L rooftop unit is powered by the revolutionary Lenox Core Control System. This powerful controller is paired with a mobile app interface using intuitive menus making service and maintenance easier than ever before. The Linux Core Controller, along with the advanced variable speed technology, maximizes energy savings. But that's just the beginning. Premium diagnostic features reduce installation, service, and maintenance expenses to provide the lowest total cost of ownership in the industry. So let's take a look at the features and benefits of Model L. As I mentioned, Model L is the most exciting product that I've worked on, and it really showcases the grit of every Linux team. It's a project that we've been working on for several years. In fact, we have conducted focus groups with some of you on the call to ensure that we meet your needs and make you competitive in your marketplaces. If we look at our package rooftop product offering, everyone's familiar with Landmark. Landmark is offering both standard and high efficiency and with a standard set of controls, features, and customization options. Moving up the portfolio, we have Energens with a higher offering of controls, features, and customization. Energens is offered in high efficiency, and a few years ago, we introduced ultra high efficiency models. You'll notice, however, we've positioned Energens ultra high efficiency models slightly to the left of the Energens high efficiency product line. That is because ultra high efficiency is not offered in every tonnage. And there are some options that are not offered in ultra high efficiency, such as Humiditrol. Well, that changes today. Today, we're introducing Model L, which replaces Energens ultra high efficiency. And not only does it replace it, we are making it the most complete three to 25 ton ultra high efficiency product offering. So let's take a quick look at why Model L is the most complete product offering. Model L is the most complete ultra high efficiency product offering because of the options in advanced technology we are introducing. 
It features variable speed compressors across all sizes from 3 to 25 tons. We are introducing the Variable Direct Plus blower system in smaller tonnages, now available from 3 to 12 and a half tons. And everyone's familiar with Humiditrol. Well, today we're introducing a modulating version, which we call Humiditrol Plus, and it's available from 3 to 25 tons. One feature that you've been asking for is VAV across all of our tonnages. Well, today we're proud to introduce VAV from 3 to 25 tons on Model L. Model L is packed with technology. We took the last few years to put as much as we can to revolutionize the HVAC industry. First, lead variable speed compressors in every box from 3 to 25 tons. Next, the variable speed direct plus blower system is available from 3 to 12 and a half tons. And we not only bring dehumidification and ultra high efficiency, we are introducing an all new modulating dehumidification. And one of the features that we've heard from you through those focus groups is VAV on all tonnages from 3 to 25 tons. So let's take a look inside the Model L. We're going to be looking at a 7.5 to 12.5 ton model. First, an inverter driven lead variable speed compressor allows the system to use just enough energy to maintain the space demand. Next, the direct plus variable speed blower eliminates the need for belts and pulleys while giving you the benefit of variable airflow. Through this variable speed technology, we're able to provide standard with all Model L units enhanced dehumidification. This allows users to remove some moisture while the unit is running in cooling operation. But for those areas where enhanced dehumidification is not enough, we have the optional Humiditrol Plus. Humiditrol Plus allows variable dehumidification to maintain comfortable humidity levels using less energy than traditional on and off dehumidification systems. And of course, the Lenox Core Unit Controller, which revolutionizes the way we interface with the unit. We have equipped the unit with a diagnostics and sensor system to ensure the unit runs intelligently and reliably. And we did not stop there we are including BACnet in both IP and MSCP standard on every unit with the core controller. But here is where we revolutionize the industry. Every Model L comes with a wireless gateway, which allows us to interface with the optional wireless zone sensors as well as our Linux Core service app. The Linux Core service app is available in both Android and iOS for phones and tablets. It changes the way technicians interface with the unit throughout the use of intuitive menus on the palm of your hand. To showcase the benefits of this new technology and the features of Model L, we've created a video. So let's take a look at it. Linux is proud to introduce Model L, the most powerful and advanced rooftop unit to date. Model L delivers premium features and energy savings with less maintenance and easier service. This ultra-high efficiency rooftop line features both gas electric and electric electric units with nominal cooling capacities from 3 to 25 tons. These units are equipped with advanced variable speed technology, optional Humiditrol Plus, and indoor air quality solutions designed to bring complete comfort to a wide variety of commercial applications. Model L units feature the revolutionary Linux Core Control System. The Core Control System optimizes unit performance, features open integration through built-in BACnet, and connects to optional wireless zone sensors. It interfaces via the all-new Linux Core Service App, which makes service with Model L both quicker and easier.
Model L rooftop units and the Linux Core service app maximize efficiency of maintenance and service operations, reducing operational costs and minimizing downtime. Intelligent operation of variable speed components delivers energy efficient temperature and humidity control for the lowest total cost of ownership in the industry. Model L is ideal for those that value a low total cost of ownership over the unit's lifetime. Welcome to the Rooftop Revolution. We hope you're as excited as we are. So let's take a look at the Model L timeline. First, Energen's Ultra models will be phased out of production by mid-March. Keep in mind, these are only the ultra high efficiency models and does not impact the high efficiency Energens models. Model L production starts at the beginning of April and will rump up through the beginning of May. Deliveries will begin mid-May and rump up and continue through mid-June. We hope you're as excited as we are and welcome you to join us on this rooftop revolution. Model L is currently in production. For ordering or additional details, please contact your Linux sales representative. I'll now turn it over to Tate Byers, who will cover the mechanical specifications of Model L. Thank you, Eddie. My name is Tate Byers, and I'm a product manager for Linux Commercial. Today, I'll be going over some of the mechanical features of the Model L rooftop units. So starting with the three through six ton mechanical platform, uh, this is going to feature one uh, inverter-driven variable speed compressor uh, with the Direct Plus blower, as well as outdoor uh, variable speed outdoor ECM fans, so that all main components of this system will be fully variable speed. Uh, the gas heat options are going to be two-stage low NOx gas heat, uh, and the electric heat is going to be the same as Energent's High Efficiency and Ultra. Looking at the 7.5 through 12.5 ton platform, this is going to be our B-Box. Uh, so we're going to have a lead variable speed uh, compressor with one fixed speed lag compressor. Uh, the blower is going to be the 3.75 horsepower direct plus motor, uh, and that's going to be for all of the tonnages in that range. And then the evaporator and condenser coil, like the A-Box units, will be all tube and fin uh, coils. Uh, and so when you look at the condenser fans, we're going to have the two ECM outdoor fans, again, making every component in the system fully variable speed, uh, with the gas and electric heat options being the same as Energen's high efficiency uh, and ultra high efficiency today. Uh, so we take a look at the B-Box cooling changes. Uh, the ultra high efficiency uh, Energen's B-Box had the two tandem compressors, uh, and so you know, that resulted in higher EERs, uh, but it limited our low ambient uh, mechanical cooling operating range. And so as we bring on the variable speed compressor with the fixed speed compressor, uh, we're able to uh, achieve higher IEERs in a smaller and lighter chassis. Um, and we also get mechanical cooling down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. And so when we look at the chassis, uh, the, the Energent's Ultra B was in that B plus or that extended chassis uh, that didn't allow for the full perimeter curves. Uh, with the introduction of Model L, we will now be in the Energent's High Efficiency B-Box chassis. Uh, so again, that's going to be roughly 5% lighter, uh, but it does allow you to get that full perimeter curve on these units. Uh, looking at the 13 through 25 ton mechanical platform, uh, the compressor again will be that lead variable speed compressor uh, with three, uh, two or three fixed speed compressors just depending on the tonnage. Uh, the blower is going to be the, the inverter-driven belt drive, uh, fully variable uh, indoor blower. Uh, evaporator coil, again, will be tube and fin, uh, same as the condenser coil. And then we look at the gas heat and the electric heat options. Again, those will be the same as Energent's Ultra and High Efficiency. Uh, looking again at the C-Box cooling changes, uh, we used to have two sets of TANA compressors that, again, limited our tonnage offering uh, but also limited our, our low ambient cooling range. And so with the introduction of Model L, uh, we were able to add 13 and 17 and a half ton models, uh, as well as uh, increase that uh, mechanical operating range uh, for mechanical cooling. And so, like I said, 
uh, we were able to operate uh, mechanical cooling down to zero degrees Fahrenheit without any additional controls, uh, which most competitors are not able to match. Uh, and this, this gives us a best-in-class operating range uh, for cooling with the Model L units. All right, so you're going to hear the term common cooling platform quite a bit today. Uh, let's take a second and talk about why, uh, what that means and why it's important. And so the common cooling platform refers to the physical components across the Model L rooftop units, but also the features and benefits that are available uh, with the Model L units. Uh, so because each model uh, features a lead variable speed compressor, um, we can apply all of the benefits of the variable speed compression to each tonnage range within Model L. Um, and, and that, in my opinion, I think that really simplifies um, the, the message to the end user uh, with having variable speed in all of our units. Uh, the next is going to be the optional, optional Humitrol Plus, uh, which is available on all single zone VAV models uh, from three to 25 tons. Uh, and so now we can offer an ultra high efficiency unit with hot gas reheat, which we were not able to before. So all Model L units feature a fully variable speed blower. So the three through 25 tons feature the direct plus blower, which we talked about, while the 13 through 25 tons will, will feature that VFD belt driven motor. Uh, and then when each Model L unit will have both single zone and multi-zone VAV operation, uh, and that's gonna provide superior comfort and efficiency uh, for every application we apply Model L. Uh, and so what that kind of all leads to uh, is really a, a bunch of synergies with the Model L rooftop line. And so these common features, um, you know, with our common cooling app platform, uh, they will drive common unit operation, repair parts, service processes, and even BAS integration. Uh, and so all of that's gonna contribute uh, to a simpler product, um, a product that's gonna deliver the lowest total cost of ownership uh, in the industry, and it will help our customers reach their end goals. And so since variable speed is at the heart of the Model L common cooling platform, uh, let's review the technology in a little more detail. So it's important that we can connect the benefits and uh, the features of variable speed uh, to the end user or customer benefit. And so the first is gonna be discharge air control. Uh, and Model L with the variable speed compressor is going to provide a constant discharge air temperature uh, for premium space cover. And then load matching. So this is gonna allow us to avoid uh, uncomfortable temperature swings in the space by matching the load that is required for that space. So quiet part load operation with all of the components being fully variable speed. Uh, when we're operating a part load, which most units do most of the time, uh, we're able to reduce the speed and therefore reduce the noise uh, in the space, uh, creating a quiet uh, premium comfort environment. And so the last will be increased passive dehumidification so variable speed compressors are able to provide both passive and enhanced dehumidification uh, for better humidity control and comfort. And so, um, you know, that is going to help us with all of the applications that we apply Model L and really provide top-notch humidity control. So along with all the customer benefits, uh, variable speed compressors also provide great efficiency benefits as well. So the inverter-driven variable speed compressors are extremely efficient in part load operation and applications, which reduce operating costs and lower energy bills for our customers. The variable speed compressor will also reduce the compressor cycling as it can uh, vary its speed to match the load in the space. This is gonna result in less wasted energy and increased reliability for that customer. And so the Model L features single zone VAV operation which controls both the blower and variable speed compressor in a variable capacity. Uh, and that's gonna optimize the amount of energy used uh, by the system to really only deliver what's required by the space to maintain that superior comfort. Uh, so the next technology we wanna go over is the Humidatrol Plus. And so I'm gonna start that with a video uh, of myself at PDNR, just kinda of going over the technology and reviewing what Humidatrol Plus is. 
All right, so we're here to talk about the Humidotrol Plus uh, operation with the Model L rooftop units. And so where we're gonna start is the Linux Core Unit Controller. Uh, the Core Unit Controller is responsible for operating each uh, component of the system in a variable speed capacity to optimize the amount of moisture removed during a dehumidification call. And so what we're gonna be doing with the variable speed compressor is that we're gonna be modulating it uh, based on the dehumidification demand in the space. And so the higher that demand is, uh, that compressor will ramp up and deliver more dehumidification capability. Uh, when you look at the outdoor fan and what the outdoor fan's doing, the outdoor fan is modulating based on the discharge air temperature. So if we need the discharge air temperature to increase or decrease, uh, the fan will modulate to, in order to maintain uh, a neutral discharge air temperature. Uh, as we take a look inside the blower cabinet, uh, the Direct Plus blower will be modulating to maintain a saturated suction temperature. Uh, and really what that is, is that's the evaporator coil temperature and it's optimizing it to remove the most amount of moisture uh, from the system as possible without freezing the indoor coil. And so that is basically uh, what makes up the Humidotrol Plus system. Uh, obviously there's reheat coil in there, which you cannot see, uh, very similar to Energen's high efficiency. Uh, but again, the, the Humidotrol Plus system is gonna deliver neutral air uh, at a wider range of conditions uh, because of the core unit controller and its ability to modulate all of the components in the system. Uh, and then it wouldn't be a Linux unit uh, if it wasn't serviceable. And so uh, I got a video that I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, we're, we're gonna take a look at some of the service friendly features of the Model L. All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the Model L five ton unit. We'll start here uh, with the toolless filter access. Uh, as you can see, you just open up the door with the handle Hinges open, you can remove your filter just like that, no tools required. Um, as we move on, uh, we'll check out the blower compartment next. Again, hinged access doors create easy access to both the blower and the gas heating compartment. Uh, so you can do all your service maintenance uh, pretty easy here, uh, very simple, easy to access. Um, so yeah. And then the last place we wanna talk about is the core unit controller and the variable speed uh, compressor. It's in this isolated compressor compartment, so you can run all your tests, diagnostics, everything like that without having to uh, close the door and wait for the system to stabilize. Uh, very nice feature, uh, very beneficial for getting on and off the roof quickly. So all in all, this is probably the best looking rooftop unit that I've ever seen. Thank you for joining the Rooftop Revolution. Hello, this is Alec Romania, Product Manager for Linux Commercial Controls. I'm here today to talk to you about the Linux Core Control System. The Core Control System features the innovative Linux Core Unit Controller and the revolutionary Linux Core Service App. The Core Service App provides intuitive setup, real-time data readout, and enhanced test functionalities, reducing service costs and creating a connected service experience. The core unit controller openly integrates with multiple control types, extends unit lifetime by reliably operating system components, and implements algorithms that optimize efficiency, creating ideal space conditions with ease. Let's take a closer look at the Linux core control system and the Linux core service app. The core control system emphasizes four main benefits, connected service, open integration, reliable performance, and efficiency optimization. I'm going to use this time today to help you understand each of these benefits in detail. Let's take a deeper dive into the different components of the system. The core control system consists of the core unit controller as well as the core service app. We'll focus on each of these components and how they work together with Model L RTUs. Looking closer at the, at the core unit controller, there are three boards of interest. First of all, the main board, or what we call the M4, is responsible for running the mechanical parts of the Model L RTU. On top of the M4 is the wireless board, or what we call the W4 board. This board is responsible for control of the many new wireless functionalities available on this RTU. Finally, the expansion card, or C4, is responsible for running the extra mechanical equipment on the 13-ton and larger RTUs. You'll notice that the C4 card closely resembles the C3 card on the current controls platform with Prodigy 2.0, but features some of the new connectors. 
let's break down the different features of the M4 and W4 controllers that you just saw. We have modified the existing factory connectors so that they are easier to connect correctly. They are now keyed and color coded. This makes it easier for the factory to get wiring right the first time, but also pre prevents miswiring when service is done on components in the field. We won't dive into it today, but the new wiring system available with the core unit controller enables simpler and easier wiring diagrams as well. Next, the USB port is now located on the W4 board that you just saw. It is used for firmware updates, system logging, and configuration, save, and restore functionalities. Just like Prodigy 2.0, users can save and move configurations using a USB to quickly deploy multiple similar units. It's also available on the brand new mobile app. The core unit controller, in addition to the app interface that you'll see a little bit later, focuses focuses and features a local interface for troubleshooting and testing. We will talk more about this functionality later as well. The W4 board supports both BACnet IP and BACnet MSTP through the built-in Ethernet and screw terminal connectors that you see here. Adoption of building management systems for monitoring and saving energy is in a constant upward trend in our market today. This makes the core more flexible and now allows direct connect uh, to our IP network similar to our VRF platform. The core unit controller also features the smart wire system as available in prior control boards, which allows for easy and simple install of field components such as sensors. You'll notice that these are similar, but there are a few more new inputs. Finally, the Modbus connector on board allows the unit controller to talk to communicating R RTU smart components, such as the inverter board for the compressor, the blower or VFD, and any ignition control boards available on gas units. Smart components allow for clear error recognition and more efficient operation of the RTU. Now, one of the most innovative parts of the core control system is the built-in wireless features. Let's take a closer look. Four main pieces make up the core control system's wireless architecture. The first is the wireless gateway. This gateway is an antenna that is strategically mounted to a reliable connection to the mobile service app, as well as any optional wireless sensors and or repeaters. The core service app allows for simple and quick install of the RTU. Optional wireless sensors reduce install times and costs and work without any extra hardware on Model L RTUs. Finally, the core control system is also capable of reaching out via the internet to download new firmware images to keep the system up to date. Uh, the system is also updatable via USB just to like in prior generations. I'm going to take each one of these pieces of the wireless architecture and walk through them in detail with you today. First, let's talk about the built-in wireless gateway. This is a plenum rated Bluetooth low energy antenna that is used to boost the wireless signal from the core unit controller to both the service app and any equipped wireless sensors in your system. It is strategically placed in the return section of the RTU so that it can be used in both horizontal and vertical discharge applications without taking too much loss from the thick roofing materials that are typically present in many commercial roofs. It connects to the W4 controller with a coaxial cable that is wired in the RTU. It resembles a hockey puck when viewing it from the return section. Next, let's spend some time talking about the core service app. As mentioned, this talks to the core unit controller via the wireless gateway. The app is paired via a simple button press on the W4 and is utilized to speed up all of the traditional install, service, and maintenance procedures of the RTU. It's worth mentioning that this can be done without an internet connection on sites that are under construction or just out there. The app uses Bluetooth technology to communicate similar to the many devices you're familiar with using today with your smartphone. Let's watch a demo of the new core service app and a few of the functionalities that are available. Hi, I'm here at Linux PDNR lab today to show you a little bit more about the Linux core service app. Using the Linux core service app is simple. Simply download and install the app onto your phone or tablet and start the app. The app connects to any Model L unit through one press of a button. Let me show you. The unit is shown directly on the screen. 
And through one press of a button, I am connected to the app. The name and unit details shown allow you to confirm that the unit serves the correct space. Pairing is very easy with the core service app to model LR to use. Let's take a look at the brand new guided setup and how that works. Guided setup with progress indicators, detailed help, and exportable summaries drive simple and trouble-free setup, reducing commissioning times over similar systems. Whether you're doing unit installation, test and balance, or network setup, the core service app will be there to guide you. That shows just how easy pairing and setting up the controller can be. Sure, many of you have done this in the field, but simply changing the time and date on some controllers is difficult. With core, one click of the button and the phone's time is sent directly to the controller. One of the new features available in the core service app is the real-time data trending. The app is capable of trending select sensors and allows you to watch these values in real time. This is very useful in cases such as testing for a Delta T, for example. A huge advantage of using a mobile device is the connectivity to other services. Simply by touching the share button on the top right, as we can see on the screen, we can share our trend with others or store it for later reference. As mentioned, Core is capable of updating data to the app in real time. No more returning to the control panel of the unit to check a system mode or sensor value while you're working on the unit. No more up or down on ladders if the unit is on a tall curb. Here, we see some of the data screens, as well as an example output of the brand new diagnostic sensors and calculated superheat and subcooling values available directly on the app while you're working on a unit. On top of that, the core unit controller stores 14 days of logs, which can be exported at any time from the phone or via a USB drive. In the past, we've had to send technicians to, to the store to buy a USB drive, then wait a few more days to understand a potential unit operational problem. That is no more. The Core Service app is already making clear how revolutionary it will be to those in the industry. It took a finalist award in this year's AHR Innovation Awards in the software category. Winners are selected by a third party, a panel of third party ASHRAE member judges who evaluate all awards and entries based on innovative design, creativity, application, value, and market impact. While we could not hold or attend the AHR show this year, we look forward to it being highlighted in 2022. We can't wait for all of you to get your hands on this app and take it for a spin. That wraps up some of the many exciting features available in the mobile app. Returning to our wireless ecosystem, we move to the wireless room sensors. These are capable of wirelessly connecting to the core unit controller and are simple to install using the service app. An optional repeater is available which can boost signal from the RTU if needed. Sensors can be moved within their range, reducing rewiring costs. Taking a closer look at the sensor, it has a front mounted override button, a pairing button, a battery indicator, and a communication status indicator. For the first SKU available in this line, it will have temperature and relative humidity built directly into the sensor. This sensor can be powered by either 24 volts AC or four AA batteries. On battery, the typical estimated life is just over two years. The sensor is capable of also working via SBUS so that one SKU can be used in a multitude of ways on one site. An inset locking hex screw prevents access in environments such as schools. Overall, this sensor fits many of our common applications in the commercial field. I look forward to seeing and hearing about the innovative ways that these are applied. Now we just took a look at the sensor. Let's see how these are used in a network. Up to five sensors and five repeaters can be attached to each RTU. Sensors will automatically average and send their sensor values to the RTU. The self-healing mesh ensures the devices that fall offline do not impact system operation of other sensors and repeaters that are still connected. Taking a closer look at how these are applied, sensors are installed into the space. They are capable of com communicating to an optional repeater, which will provide more range if needed. Maybe you have a two-story building or something taller. The repeater could be placed in the space or a mechanical room uh, within range of these sensors. 
all of these devices communicate via that hockey puck or that wireless antenna that I mentioned, which is connected to the core unit controller. Before we wrap up with the wireless architecture, I'd like to talk a little bit about security. We live in a rapidly changing world nowadays. Having a secure wireless system is key to our customers and to our organization. Core has been designed from the ground up for secure operation, featuring brand new encryption, firmware validation, and authentication features. We've got plenty of information on this available in documents that are available today. Contact us if those are needed. We'll provide some of them uh, with the deliverables once this unit launches. Now, one of the letters in core stands for open integration. Open integration is a key part of Linux's strategy to work with customers on integrating with the customer's choice of controls. Core is a leading example of that effort. Let's take a closer look. The Linux Core unit controller comes with both BACnet IP and BACnet MSTP standard. New objects and alarms make the Core unit controller's BACnet offering the most powerful Linux has to offer. As you just saw, the Core unit controller redefines open integration with standard BACnet IP and MSTP. Core will also support LAN, SBUS, thermostat, and sensor options giving users plenty of options to meet their needs. LAN will remain optional and will attach with the same module used for Prodigy. Just as with Prodigy, the CS8500 remains our flagship offering for use with BACnet or in standalone operation. Again, the takeaway that you should have here is that this product is incredibly flexible in a variety of applications and will work to make your open, application, open integration application work wanted to talk to some of the changes that are coming to our BACnet interface. Again, this interface is standard and features 16 new points. These objects heavily emphasize Linux's commitment to indoor air quality and sensor options with an added control points for the economizer. Support for the prognostic and diagnostic alerts that we will have in this controller is also supported through this interface. As with Prodigy, SBUS sensors are supported for added flexibility within BACnet, including the brand new wireless sensor that you saw. Finally, we have kept legacy points to ensure that Core easily integrates on replacement jobs. Here are a list of the brand new objects available through BACnet. Next, I'll break down a few of these and what these mean for our users and integrators. While there are many different ways to utilize the brand new BACnet objects and interface, I'm going to dive into three main parts. First, the brand new space humidity input. This allows the core unit controller to re receive humidity inputs from centralized humidity sensors elsewhere in the building, facilitating globalized dehumidification operations or even humidity averaging. The new IAQ points allow remote control of demand control ventilation, network remote IAQ sensors, similar to the humidity case that I just laid out before, and provides monitoring for an additional IAQ input directly on the board. This improved monitoring and control should help in many IAQ-focused operations, such as schools and gyms. For example, I could choose either CO or CO2 to drive damper operation and use the second IAQ input to monitor the other signal and provide that through the front end. Finally, the new prognostic and diagnostic alerts indicate specific component failures and remotely indicate what needs to be done get to get the unit back to normal operation. This helps to reduce service costs and lower downtime. An example of these is telling you directly when the unit is either out of charge, when a compressor or a TXV has failed, rather than providing a free stat or low pressure alert indication. From a mode of operation standpoint, the core control system will support standard thermostat and room sensor modes. When using thermostats, the core unit controller is fully capable of modulating the variable speed compressor on Model L units. Doing so will allow for users to get better system efficiencies while still using simple thermostat controls. Tate laid a little bit of that out and how that works. It's definitely a differentiator in the product. When using sensors on the core control system, customers have much more options. The addition of 10K thermistor support and additional IAQ input and wireless sensor support makes Model L fit a wider range of specifications and replacement jobs. Now, we talked about the mobile app. I'm going to talk about some of the ways that you can interface with Core. As mentioned, the primary interface is the mobile app. 
It is fully capable of reading data, configuration, and setup of the unit. While we expect the mobile app to revolutionize the industry, we heard from customer feedback from some of you all, in fact, that having a backup was something customers wanted for peace of mind. The local interface on the M4 provides exactly that. It's capable of providing basic test and troubleshoot functionalities for the RTU. We already talked a little bit about the mobile app, so let's take a look at the local interface and what it can do. Other than providing basic status codes and errors, it also features a test button. This button can be used to place the system directly into a test mode of operation, and using the thermostat inputs on the core unit controller, a user could run a cooling, heating, or other system test. It can also commission a unit to thermostat mode temporarily while a building is under construction if the final controls are not set up. This was a key piece of feedback that we received from you and your customers while designing this new product. The heartbeat LED is also on this board, and it tells you, of course, if the system is powered. The board also has a reset button that can both clear delays, as with prior generations of boards, and is capable of performing a reset on the controller as well. All of these buttons, when pressed, show you immediate feedback on the screen, so it's clear to users what they are doing while they're working on the unit. At the end of the day, the mobile interface will be fast and simple, but the local interface has the tools to get you out of a tight situation. Muchas gracias a todos. En este momento damos paso al ingeniero Eddie Chávez, a quien le transmitiré las preguntas que tenemos eh, registradas en este momento en el chat. Ingeniero Eddie, eh, la pregunta es, ¿quién es el representante en Colombia? Ingeniero, tiene sí, su micrófono. Sí, bueno, buenos días. Muchas gracias por tener la presentación. Este, voy a responder preguntas en español lo mejor que pueda, pero tal vez sí vaya a usar algunos términos en, en inglés. Adelante, ingeniero. ¿Qué, qué fue la pregunta? Disculpa. La pregunta es, ¿quién es el representante en Colombia? Sí, mire, tenemos un equipo eh, global. Eh, de Lenox en, en Colombia. Lo, lo mejor que puedo hacer es mandar la información, no sé si lo puedo mandar aquí por chat, eh, del contacto a la oficina de ventas internacionales que es basada en, en Miami. Sí, por favor, ingeniero. O, o me puede eh, transmitir el enlace y yo los comparto para que tengan el contacto eh, directo. Ok, perfecto. Listo. Bueno, muchísimas gracias. Eh, por el momento no tenemos eh, más preguntas. Eh, vamos entonces pues a, a continuar. Eh, agradecemos pues a todos la, la participación, estar aquí presentes y prestarnos atención en esas conferencias pues que, que preparamos especialmente para ustedes. Eh, eh, tengan por favor en cuenta que eh, van a tener acceso a las memorias y al certificado de asistencia de estas conferencias en el hall del Expo Acaire, allí podrán encontrar la grabación a partir del día de mañana y hasta el viernes 4 de junio. Los invitamos también a ver la revista Caire en el chat, eh, van a encontrar el enlace para que puedan acceder a ella. Y eh, también eh, les queremos pues extender la invitación para el evento de apertura que vamos a realizar el día de hoy en el auditorio de la plataforma a las 12 eh, del mediodía. También para que visiten los pabellones y conozcan los productos y servicios de las empresas expositoras y no olviden descargar el certificado de asistencia a la feria. Eh, los esperamos a la siguiente conferencia que va a iniciar a las 11 de la, de la mañana. Y eh, muchísimas gracias, Ingeniero Eddie, a todos ustedes también por su atención prestada. Eh, que tengan un muy buen resto de día y nos vemos en la siguiente charla.